I analyze my top viral videos. I'm talking 10 million viewed plus videos on TikTok. And this is what I came up with. I want to share with you guys like my new social media growth tips because I haven't made one of these videos in two and a half years. Today, I was at the YouTube headquarters meeting with some creators and some brands. And I ran into some of you guys and you were like, Jade, like I remember your videos in 2017. And all I could think about was like, oh my God, those are so embarrassing. But I know a lot of y'all learned something, which to me is like miraculous because at that time, I'm not gonna lie. I was making shit out of my ass. Like, obviously I'm a creator and like, I know a thing or two. Like I'm not like lying to you guys. I'm not like selling you a course or anything. Although that did happen. But I'm not like selling you like a thousand dollar course. You know what I mean? Like I was just sharing what I knew but I felt like deep down, I wasn't like an expert. So in the past two and a half years, I was just fully going into content creator mode and like making surfing TikToks. You should follow me if you haven't already. From the first TikTok that blew up to the ones that failed. And I wanna share with you what worked and what didn't. More views does not equal more engagement. This is something that actually shocked me. Like I literally think about this video specifically. It has 1.6 million views on TikTok. It's about me getting into my wetsuit surfing. It has 50 comments compared to this video, literally like a percent of those views, but has 22 comments. Another example is I have this video that has 100,000 views, but 69 comments. Views don't equal people who care about you and on TikTok and any short form platform like Reels even. What I learned basically is that in order to be a creator and really build a fan base, you can't just make trendy little TikToks and Instagram Reels or YouTube Shorts. You really have to combine it with that community building content. And the way I outlined it is I have my viral content. So I'm gonna call it my top of the funnel content. And then I have my middle of the funnel content, which is my story time videos. Like essentially I'm a surfer, right? So you might have different content, but for me, the videos that go viral are the stuff that's like learning a new trick in 24 hours. And the ones that really build community is when I talk about my struggles, being an entrepreneur, me being almost broke some months, you know, like stuff that's more vulnerable. <laughs> that has been the biggest shock to me because I, as a creator, I think we all strive for views, 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 but we don't think about views and content that's just for the people who believe in you. And I'm essentially, making this video right now because I know this these kinds of videos on my YouTube channel tend to be like my viral moments, but I want you guys to stay for my longer form vlogs, which I will link here because I want, I care about you guys. And I know a lot of y'all who watch me since I was young don't know I make surfing TikToks. Well, here's your chance, okay? So please follow me. But what I'm trying to say is really striving for not just views, but also stuff that's meaningful builds a community. A healthy balance could be 50-50. If you're a creator and you're posting, let's say once a week on YouTube, maybe once a week you do your viral content and then you do your like more meaningful, vulnerable content. I think it depends on each creator, right? Your hook needs to be strong. I learned that the videos that went viral had a strong hook but not only had that it had an immediate follow-up we all talk about hook 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 five seconds are important like i feel like every social media person talks about like the hook you know like we're fucking pirates or something but i really now have learned the importance of not only the hook but the five seconds after the hook a good example is this video of me snowboarding and getting stuck in powder it has 1.1 million views and i learned this video performed better than for example another video that's literally the same thing it's me getting stuck in powder. The only difference is the viral video starts with what I think when I'm stuck in powder and immediately after I say I'm dying out of an asthma attack. So there's like some shock value. <laughs> Obviously you don't want to like die for your content but in this aspect I was recording this and it got more views right because there's more emotion because people wanted to make sure right I wasn't dying. Content that doesn't satisfy the immediate hook. Like for example, if you're making a cooking video and you're like, I'm going to make birria tacos. And then the after that, the five seconds is you just like, I don't know, going to the grocery store. People might, might not give a fuck. They might want to see you like, you know, giving a yummy reaction. Like, mm, these are so good. To satisfy the viewer as much as you can. This again is something I didn't think about before. Like in makeup videos, I've seen people like put on their makeup, but then like, like for part two, if you want to see the lipstick, right? I thought that worked for surfing and like what I do, but it doesn't. Like I find that my videos perform the best when I satisfy the viewer immediately. So instead of giving a part two, I immediately have a resolution in the video. A lot of this manifests in my surfing get ready with me. So I noticed the videos that get a lot of views is not me saying like for part two, if you want to see a video of me surfing, like I show the video of me surfing and it may make the video a little longer, which is actually good for watch time. People and the viewers are fatigued of like, I mean, I personally am fatigued of like seeing people 
really stretch their content. I'm like, just tell me the fucking ending, you know what I mean? I think there was an era on YouTube where you could clickbait and get away with it. We're out of that era, you know? It's like, it's really about being true to what you're saying. Like, if I started this video and I started to like do a make tutorial before diving into my content, you probably would be pissed off, right? And whatever I'd say here uh, about TikTok works for Instagram Reels and Shorts. These are just like general things I've noticed when I've analyzed my content. I want to announce that I'm doing coaching again. I think I have a really good deal. It should be in the description box, but if you want to talk to me for 30 minutes and get help on your account and I can literally help analyze your content like I do with myself, check it out. And if not, if you don't want to pay for it, totally fine. You can watch my free content that I have a lot of. If you guys like these social media growth videos, I will keep doing it as long as I like, have shit to actually say, which I do now. I actually do now. So comment below video ideas if you have any. If you missed me, follow me on Instagram and TikTok and like and subscribe if you haven't.